How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into another video. In today's video, obviously, as you can tell by the title of it, we do have a jersey here to unbag. Um, I'm really excited about this one because this one's actually for the Utah Hockey Club. Obviously, you can tell by the title of the video. Um, I'm super excited to kind of see this thing in person and see what it actually looks like. Um, I'm excited to kind of see how the logo looks because I know it's going to be like, it's not prime green, obviously, because it's Fanatics, but it's going to kind of have that like special detail and kind of just that bevelment in the logo. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So I'm definitely excited to see kind of what that looks like in person. Overall, though, like there's not a lot to the jersey, so I'm not expecting anything obviously kind of crazy. Also, there's not a lot to the logo, but it would be kind of nice if there was like a little bit of embevelment or just something kind of to make the logo kind of stand out a little bit. Of course, though, before we do open this, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed, like the video if you enjoyed. Let's dig in. So I'm excited to open this thing. Um, as you can see, I am actually wearing my Chicago Blackhawks jersey. I just unboxed this like a week ago. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'll have a link in the description. And I'm gonna be honest, this is my first time wearing a new Fanatics jersey, one of the like authentic ones or premier ones. I don't even know what these are, but it does feel really good. It feels really small. Like I'm gonna do a sizing comparison video because Ben H has a website and he kind of has the comparison between Adidas and Fanatics. So I'm gonna take a look at that and kind of give my opinion on it and just also give my opinion based on the one that I own because now this one's size 50. I'm about to unbox another one that's size 50 and I have a whole bunch of size 50 Adidas is behind me. So I'll kind of give you guys my opinion, but straight up just from wearing this for this video, I can already tell that this does feel a lot smaller than a lot of the size 50s that I have from Adidas. So again, I haven't looked at Ben H's like sizing guide, so I don't even know if that's like 100% true or not. So we'll have to see when we look at that. Okay, off first glance, a little bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie to you. As always though, if you guys are interested in getting some Fanatics jerseys from Ben H, he only plans on getting the new ones, so like any jersey that wasn't made in Adidas. Also, he does have some Adidas jerseys still on his, his site, so just go over, email him. He's got like wicked deals. Okay, you guys, you ready? That was the worst reveal I think I could ever do. I definitely have to start switching sides on these reveals, but there it is, you guys, the Utah Hockey Club jersey. Now, again, like I did with the Chicago Blackhawks, I will put some like footage kind of around what the jersey looks like as I'm talking about it. But I mean, like, let's start off with just the most glaring thing, and that is the logo. And this thing is very, very, very basic. There is like nothing to this. Like I can kind of show it on screen here. Um, I'll also have some shots of it over top of my voice here. But there is no bevelment, which is very disappointing. I was expecting maybe like around a side of it just to kind of like have some sort of texture, almost like what the flames did with kind of like the flame texture in there, but have that just on like one side of the text or something like that. I think that would look really good. Striping looks really good though. Um, it's definitely like different striping than what, what the Adidas ones have. The Adidas ones are very much like, I'll, sh I'll show a photo on the screen here or something, but it's very much like a different material than some of the stripes. This one's just all same material striping on the jersey, which isn't anything wrong with that. It does look really good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the fact that the inside of the back of the neck is white because it's got white going all the way around and then the inside also has it. It just kind of matches. This one doesn't have shoulder patches, which kind of sucks. I think the shoulder patches would be really nice on here. Maybe at some point I'd be able to get them. But I mean, all in all, it does look really good. It's definitely one that I'm glad I got. It's it's like not something amazing, but I just like it because it's so different and like so unique to the NHL. And next year, they'll probably have some that are very similar, but will probably be a little bit different. So it's just cool to have something that maybe won't kind of come out again. But yeah, I will try to do a sizing guide. If you guys would like that, then let me know down in the comments and I'll do that. I'll use Ben H's guides. I'll also kind of use my personal experience with the two size 50s that I have, which are mediums for those of you guys wondering. So uh, maybe we can create some sort of guide with that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it would mean a lot if you guys subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.